New at six deputies in Coweta County say a drunk driver led them on a high speed chase during rush hour Wednesday evening. Fox House Doug Evans has more on the arrest. This is State Road 34 at Fisher Road, one of the busier intersections in Coweta County. Deputies say they clocked 22-year-old Ronnie Jackson at over 80 miles an hour in a 55-mile-an-hour zone. And they say it appears that Jackson had no intention of pulling over. Fisher. He looks like he might be trying to take off on me. Turn left on Fisher going north. Yeah, we're 1080. 1080 is the police code for pursuit in progress. A busy night in Coweta. This was one of three chases, they say. Deputies say Jackson rolled down Fisher Road sometimes at over 100 miles an hour in the evening rush hour traffic. He's charged with reckless driving. Just kind of characterize some of the things your deputy saw. He was passing uh, in the wrong lane of travel. He was uh, through curves. Um, cars were having to get out of the way uh, for him to get through. It was, it was a whole list of recklessness. Deputies say the body cam video shows Jackson forcing cars off the roadway as the pursuit heads down Fisher Road toward Northgate High School. The video eventually shows his car wrecked into a ditch. The video concludes with the foot chase that would lead to Jackson's arrest after being hit with the deputy's taser. Deputies say they've charged Jackson with felony fleeing, DUI, failure to maintain lane, reckless driving, crossing the double yellow line, and failure to report an accident, which they say he caused during the pursuit. In Coweta County, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News.